Joined now by our current leader in the Sunoco Rookie of the Year standings. Nine top ten finishes this season, including eighth place last weekend at Charlotte. Uh, Chase um, Jimmy Johnson in 2002 is the only other driver who's recorded nine top tens through his first 13 races in his rookie season. Uh, you competed one here at Pocono Raceway in the ARCA Series. Um, how much will that previous experience here help you uh, on Sunday? Uh, well, Jimmy also had a win um, in his first however many races. So uh, still some work to do, I think, for us on, on all, all fronts. But I do think having that uh, ARCA race here in 13 is definitely helpful. I think the biggest thing to take from that is they had reconfigured the track at that point uh, to the current configuration. So um, I don't think it has changed a whole lot. I think it's picked up some bumps here and there. Uh, from from the harsh winters up here, I would assume, and uh, but other than that, I think I think it'll be pretty similar. So I think uh, that race will hopefully be helpful. It's been a while, so uh, it's going to have to uh, think back a, a good ways on on kind of some of the things we fought when we were here. But it was good to good to have that run here, if, if nothing else, and hopefully just some just some extra laps because uh, was like the weather for this weekend may may limit our practice. So everything we could get uh, prior to this weekend would be helpful. Excellent. If you have questions for the driver of the number 24 Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet, you'll raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. Please state your name and organization. We'll go right here. Zach Atan's ready, front stretch. Um, you know, personally with you, how do you think the AO package will work uh, with a track like this? Such a unique place with three different turns. Do you think it's going to play more of a factor than usual? Uh, I don't think it would be a whole lot different than, than than anywhere else. I mean, I think, uh, you know, the improvements that they've made as far as the package goes, I think will be, you know, as, as big of a difference as it is here as it is or would be anywhere else. Um, so, uh, yes, this place is unique and, and obviously having, having three different turns and uh, having to find that balance to work in all of them. Uh, the best you can is tough, but I don't think um, I wouldn't expect the current package to be any different here than anywhere else. Additional questions for Chase. We'll go right here to Jeff Gluck, please. Jeff Gluck from USA Today. Chase, with the possible lack of practice time and maybe not qualifying depending on the weather, how will, how do you think that will affect things this weekend? And, and does that favor, you know, does that favor veteran type guys who have a lot of experience here? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely a good question and something that we've we've thought about a lot coming into the weekend. This is a, a place I haven't raced at uh, a whole lot and, and only having a couple starts here, which it's been a few years uh, even since those. So uh, even if the weather was perfect, there's only two practices this weekend versus normally three, you know, on a, on a normal race weekend. So we were already kind of cut short on practice. Um, but, but I do think that that will definitely be a challenge for sure for me uh, as it looks like, you know, the rain's going to, Cut a short at least maybe a practice today. We might only have one this weekend, so uh, making the most of that one I think will be important for me. And, and yes, I do think it'll be a challenge for for the guys who haven't been here a lot. Additional questions for Chase. We'll go back here to the back to Zach. Zach Albert, NASCAR.com. Uh, Chase, do you guys feel like you've, you've gained some momentum the last few weeks and? and have gotten closer to potentially breaking through and, and winning. Like, are you to a place where it would, it would surprise you if you guys didn't at least, you know, break through and, and, and secure a win this season? Oh, well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, obviously there's, there's a lot, so many good cars each week and, and it's, it's not easy anywhere you go. So I, I don't know. I mean, I, I've definitely, as I've said, I feel like that I have a team and, and a group of guys that are capable of winning. Uh, if I do my part for them, and I, I truly believe that. I mean, I, when I come to the racetrack each weekend, I, you know, really have a have the strong belief that our team can win, and I, I think that's something that's important for all of us to believe. And if we didn't believe that, we might as well all stay home. So uh, that's the mindset we have coming into each each race weekend, regardless of where it is. And uh, that's that's our mindset here, as it would be anywhere else. So we're working hard at it. You know, if I could tell the future, I'd I'd tell you. But uh, you know, we're we're going to give it our best effort to do that. You know, and it, if we do, great. Uh, if we don't, it sure won't be for a lack of effort. Any more questions for Chase Hillett? We'll come back over here to Jeff, please. How do you feel about your your points position halfway through the regular season? I mean, you're, it seems like you're in a pretty good spot. Do you do you look at it that like you know? Okay, well, geez, you know, we need to get a lot of top tens here. I mean, we need to keep doing what we're doing. Do you feel pretty good about where you are? 
I I feel um, I feel like we've had some some weekends that have been better than others, and and certainly, um, you know, I think we're we're in a decent spot in points. The thing about points is they really don't matter anymore. Um, you know, as as like we've all talked about and and read articles of and heard everybody heard everybody speak about over the past couple of years with this new format. So, you know, the way I see it is is yes, you you can points your way in. Um, but to have a shot, you've got to be a consistent contender uh, to win races. And, and I think we, we have a little bit of work to do to, to be amongst those consistent contenders that, that are, you know, uh, have the ability to win each week. Um, and those are the guys you're going to have to beat when it comes, comes this fall. So, uh, yes, I, I think we're in a, in a decent spot. But, you know, like I said, you've got you to gotta have the ability to win each week to, to have a chance. Any final questions for Chase? Chase, thanks a lot. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.